Norman Hallett here with your four minute drill for traders number 200. And I stand before you naked and unafraid because this drill is all about the naked truth. The truth that it's up to you whether you succeed as a trader or not. Not any guru, not any market manipulators, nobody but you. And no matter how unsuccessful you've been in the past, how many accounts you've blown up, how many people tell you you're a gambler because you're a trader and you're crazy. It is squarely and totally up to you whether you become a consistently successful trader or not. You're certainly smart enough to succeed. I know countless successful traders without college or even high school educations who do very, very well in their trading. And how do they do it? Well, how every successful trader does it. And they focus on only two things to the expense of everything else. One, their trading plan. And two, developing and maintaining their mental fitness to stick to said trading plan. The truth is that the trading plan part is the easy part. Of course, some trading plans perform better than others, but all you need is a trading plan that produces a profit over time. And the plan that you choose to trade becomes your control plan. And you spend your off trading hours trying to beat that plan with tweaks, etc. As far as trading plans, the one thing I will say that those traders who emphasize risk management are those traders who succeed faster. Part of the reason is that small losses don't shake your mental and emotional confidence like big losses do. So that you can stay positive and keep moving forward if you keep your losses small. But the naked truth is that your success as a trader will not likely hinge on the quality of your trading plan. What you're trading now is likely good enough. Your success will hinge on your level of mental and emotional fitness. Most traders do not consistently value their trading discipline. They have three or four great trades in a row or a great month and then they start winging it like a cowboy trader. They get down on themselves and start to believe that trading is not for them. It's not in the cards for them. They may they shouldn't even be trading. Then they have to build themselves up to start their positive momentum again only to be hit by the next wave of losses or other negativity and boom back to the bottom men mentally. Up and down, up and down. The emotional pendulum swings. That is not the road to success in trading. There is only one road. That road is to choose your trading plan and then put the majority of your time into staying mentally fit. And when I say mentally fit, I mean in tip-top shape. Work consistently on your positive expectancy. The fact that success is yours and you deserve it. This is your passion. As a trader, you're trusting nobody but yourself and that's the way you like it. You have nobody to blame but yourself and that's the way you like it. You take your wins and losses in stride without any extreme emotions and that's the way you like it. A couple of decades ago when I was a broker for Payne Weber, they gave us a goal for opening new accounts. That's what, that's what we had to concentrate on. You had to know your markets and you had to be able to communicate opportunities uh, to the public. All around me, brokers' desks were like turnstiles as brokers came and went, some with extensive knowledge of the market, some doctors had doctorates, and many were great communicators. Actors were trying to be brokers. You see, those who did succeed had a good enough knowledge of the markets and were good enough with their communication skills, but what they were great at was making the phone calls. Staying on the telephone, call after call after call. I knew that if I made the calls and talked to 25 potential customers a day, then five would ask for information and one would eventually become my client. 
In the same way, traders who spend their time studying trading systems after trading systems and spend literally no time or little time on their trading fitness, well, they're not going to make it either. If you focus on building a strong trading mentality first, first, then everything else falls into place. You'll literally be drawn to keeping your risk low and your profit potential high. You'll put any pain from losses aside quickly and easily and move ahead confidently because you see yourself as a successful trader and you know how to get there. So you do the right thing. You make the right moves. You won't doubt your trading plan or you won't doubt what you should B, as far as being a trader, you, want to, you are a trader, You're going, you, you are a successful trader. Bottom line, you'll succeed. It's not easy to face yourself, and that's the reason trading discipline incorrectly takes a backseat to trade, the trading plan development. It's easier not to deal with it and just play the blame game. You know, every time I get a call from a salesman or saleswoman and they do a good job, I always compliment them. I compliment them on their effort as a phone salesperson, of course, right before I hang up on them. Why? Because I respect that they're working toward their success. Every time a trader joins the Discipline Trader program, I compliment them on making the move. Not because it's good business, but because I respect that they are willing to open their minds to putting their priorities in order. Mental fitness first, then trade, not before. 92% of traders, and you've heard it a million times, have it the other way, which is exactly why 92% of traders fail. Hey, I'm starting to get a little bit cold here, so let me wrap this up. I, have, I haven't recorded these 200 four minute drills for traders because I have to. I do it because I'm one of the few voices out there that can really help traders. I'm passionate about encouraging those traders who get it or want to get it. Make your mental fitness a priority. Be a disciplined trader and believe me, the rest will follow. Why? Because a confident, secure, believe in yourself trader can only have one outcome, success. Look, you can do this. No matter how much pain you've gone through, you can do this. You can live your dream of financial independence and make a difference. Make your trading a priority, but make your trading discipline the priority. Mental fitness first, then trade. Okay, that's it for this edition of 4-Minute Drill for Traders. i got to go put on something. So I'll see you again next week. And until then, naked or not, say it with me, stay disciplined. <laughs>